too far and get in trouble. That's why I haven't been on the road the last three years, because I did a lot of... Did y'all see Delirious? In Delirious, I was making fun of a lot of entertainers, who that's when I got scary, because I did some jokes about Mr. T, and Mr. T was going to fuck it up. He was... I was scared, because y'all see Mr. T. He don't look like, you know, like he can't fight. He looks like he can whip some ass, right? And I was petrified. I was walking parties, and people said, yo, man, Mr. T was just here looking for you. He was walking up to people saying, I'm going to whip it in everything when I see him. <laughs> then I watched the show because I, ne- I didn't know him. I watched the show to see what kind of guy he was. And the character on the show ain't too bright. So I figured if he came up to me, I could use the Jedi mind trick on him. <laughs> Mr. T walk up and go, I heard you did some jokes about me. No, you didn't. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to go beat up the fool that told me them lies. I was scared that I'd be at parties here. He was looking for me. I would just leave because I don't want to fight Mr. T. Then I found out Michael Jackson was looking for me. And I was like, yo, when Mike, I found my manager called me up and said, yo, man, Michael Jackson is mad. I was like, so? <laughs> you know, because I fuck Mike up, you know, Mike. Mike don't weigh but a buck oh five, you know. I bust that ass on Mike. <laughs> I was looking for my, but my manager said, you know, we don't know everything about Michael Jackson. He might be this bad motherfucker behind closed doors. He's a recluse, you know, behind closed doors. He might be completely different. And I'd be at a party and have Michael walk up to me one day and be like this. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, uh, what's your motherfucking problem, man? Well, how come you keep fucking with me then, huh? What's all the motherfucking jokes? You don't like my clothes? No, what, no, what's your motherfucking problem? You know that Michael motherfucking Jackson, I will bust your ass? Fuck out my motherfucker. I'll moonwalk all up and down your ass, motherfucker. You mind your motherfucking business. I hear some more shit, I'm gonna put this glove up your ass. I'll see you later. That's a dumb... I can never... I've been trying for five months to do the moonwalk, and I can't do the shit. This shit is the dumbest dance ever, because I can't do it. That's why I say it's stupid. But how can you do the moonwalk and ask a woman to dance? This shit, be at the party. Hey, baby, come on, let's dance. See you later the moonwalk that's some stupid shit Michael can do that shit though Michael's so famous Michael went on television and, and everything he says the public believes went on television and said I don't have sex because of my religious beliefs and the public believed it I don't know brothers like get the fuck out of here <laughs> and white people going that Michael's a special kind of guy <laughs> he's special I mean he's good clean and wholesome y'all believe it you know how I knew y'all believed it y'all didn't get mad when he took Brooke Shields to Grammys Nobody white said shit. And Brooke Shields is the whitest woman in America. That's Miss America every year. Is Brooke, fuck who you see with the crown. Brooke, you look at white woman in the dictionary, be a picture of Brooke like this. She's white. And this nigga took her to Grammys, nobody said shit. If I took Brooke Shields to Grammys, y'all lose your mind. Because y'all know Brooke would get fucked that night. Yeah. <laughs>